You have a lot of Christians who will say that their pastor or preacher or some other religious authority told them this or that. They'll say things like, well, the Jesus I know, the Jesus that they know, according to these pseudonymous Christians, they say, the Jesus I know, I can call upon at any time. I can ask him anything. But now check this out. In Luke, Jesus said to a man, he said to the man, man, who made me a judge and a divider over you? Arsu antaso farajna a kafaya bealachu and dehon manashomeng alo. And Jesus also said, and in that day ye shall ask me nothing. Beziana kenema kaneandach atalemnu. This is what the Jesus or Yeshua, Jesus, that I know, according to the Bible, says. And then also in John 16 and 26, the name Selenante Abin in the Lemina Yamlachu Aidelahum. Christ says, according to the Bible, not according to the preacher or pastor, he says, I will not pray to the Father for you. Isn't it interesting how most Christians just love to go on about Jesus, 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 Jesus. But isn't that interesting? That's not the way that you were taught because most Christians wasn't taught by Yeshua. They wasn't taught by Jesus Christos, the true Jesus Christ. They were taught by people, so-called pastors and preachers and other religious authorities that all have an agenda. You see, Yeshua, Jesus Christos, the true Jesus Christ, our black Lord and Savior, he he instructed people, he instructed us and gave us his word and preserved it, even in your Bibles, how we can make direct and intimate contact with his Father, our Father, with his God, our God, through meditation. What did Yeshua say? The Moshiach, he said that he was not a judge or a divider over you. You have to take care of your own problems. What did Yeshua say? The true Jesus Christ said that he would not go to God for you or that you couldn't just make a end run around God to him, but you would have to go to God for yourself. And here's what's very interesting in the Bible, that the true Jesus Christ, he said, don't ask him for anything. He said to ask the Father in his name. So it's really a continuing violent mess and mumbo-jumbo and babbling on about Babylon because we simply... And most people do. They refuse to accept who the true Jesus Christ really is, his racial identity as our black Lord and Savior, and who and what we really are. You see, we continue to accept ourselves as so-called five cycle of physical beings. And most folks cannot accept the fact the reality that we are, in truth, invisible. We are light beings inside of these carbon organic structures, inside of these bodies, operating these bodies, let's say, electrically. Most folks cannot accept that fact, that reality, the true message of our black Lord and Savior. And so, they cling on to all of that nonsense and whitewashing that is pumped into them by so-called religions, pastors, preachers, and governments like it was true, even when we know 
that what they, religions and so-called governments, both say and do is not true. This is just some food for thought, something to think about. 